What's up, guys? I am James Bainey. I am here to talk about another episode of The Bad Batch. This week, we are talking about episode 13, which is called Into the Breach. I really like this episode, actually, and it fills in very nicely after the one that we just got, especially if you go back and sort of listen to what I was saying about the last episode, how maybe it could have all been avoided, but I'm glad that we're getting to go on this journey to learn more about the Empire. I love the Mission Impossible aspect of this, like we need to break into this facility and we need to get the codes and then, oh, it doesn't go as plans. We need a new plan. And it just worked all very well. And I was on the edge of my seat pretty much the entire time. To be honest, I would say I'm a little bit surprised that Rampart is playing along as well as he is. There's a couple times where he's sort of expressed hesitation about how that plan's not going to work or something along those lines, but he isn't saying something like, yeah, I think that's going to go really well, and then when it fails, he's like, ha, 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 ha. It's more along the lines of like, he actually just thinks like, He's not just he's just not very confident in what he thinks the Bad Batch can actually pull off. I don't necessarily see a turn for the good with this character, but I'm interested to see what how they're going to handle him. Like, I don't think he's going to come around and be like, man, I was really on the bad side. But I'm curious if they're just going to, like, drop him off and leave him and that's the last we ever see of him or they're going to return him to jail, probably. I mean, that might work. I'm not really sure about Rampart, but... Uh, Like I said, I just think it's interesting. He's sort of going along with the whole process, which is fine. That's cool. Um, You know, he's sort of a selfish dude anyway. So as long as he could get out of jail, uh, he'll do whatever he can to make sure that the Bad Batch succeeds so that he is able to sort of get away from the labor camp, which clearly sucked for him. I do want to skip over to Omega because, man, she is awesome. She's doing such a great job at being confident, not afraid, just totally heading into this situation being like, okay, so I got the kids. I know who's going on over there. Uh, I have a plan. Uh, I'm going to need your guys' help, but we're going to get out of this place and I'm going to take care of you because I'm going to rescue all of you. She's just turned into such a fighter and survivor. Um, It's interesting because I just, you know, it's been forever since we've seen season one. Uh, and I could go back and rewatch some of those episodes, but my understanding of Omega at the time was just, she was very shy of everything. She's sort of like Rampart was, we're like, that's not going to work. We can't do that. No, no, no. And then the Bad Batch was like, come on, come with us. We'll make things work. I do kind of remember being like slightly brave. I do remember that she was like, she wanted to go with the Bad Batch. She felt very connected to them and, and all that. But I think that she has come such a long way being a part of the team uh, that she's just totally handling the station situation completely on her own. And uh, meanwhile, the bad batch is able going to, going to be able to get to Tantus on their own, which we sort of see in this episode with m- my absolute favorite part of this. I mean, uh, first and foremost, let's talk about echo who uh, comes up with the new plan says, I'm going to board that ship. I'm going to get on, on it and I'll punch out the proximity codes or, or the sensors And then we're going to be able to clamp onto the bottom of that, which reminded me of like, you know, the Millennium Falcon seems like something, a move that Han Solo would do, which is pretty cool. Echo is so good at sneaking around. It looks really good. He gets on board. He, he gets, he does all the things that he needs to do. And he is unable to send that message to Hunter and the rest of the team. And everybody's like, it's not going to work. And and there was pressure. They're going to take off the brother. And he just straight up interstellars it, which if you guys haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend. But yeah, there's this specific scene where like they uh, are about to dock on this station and there's an explosion. So it's in space and that station is now spinning in a circle. So the guy's like, well, we still got to dock with the station. So he starts spinning his own ship in a circle and is able to sort of like match the speed and link up and then able to move into. And it's just so intense. And while this isn't quite that level of piloting, this is one of these things where Hunter had to make the decision of like, I don't know if we're going to make it or not, but I have to do this. And I only have seconds before they take off to hyperspace. So we got to do this like right now to say, I'm going, you know, and it's like, we don't know if we can, we're going to get caught. And he's like, I trust echo. I trust that he was able to accomplish that. And if he 
if he was unable to do it or we we wait for him to give us that thing, like we're going to miss our opportunity. And this is the opportunity to, to get to Tantus. And then Echo is going to be on Tantus too. We got to get him out. It just was like, we have to go. We don't have any other choice. We have to go. And so him getting up there, clamping onto the bottom of that ship and immediately just being like, Poof. and that's the end of the episode. It's like they made it. Oh my gosh. It just, it's so crazy that, that every episode has felt like it's, just giving you the next step of the story every single way. No filler, no nothing. It's just every episode is awesome, and we're getting to the end of this story. There's only two episodes left. Oh, man. The Bad Batch Season 3 is awesome. I can't wait to watch the next episode. And then we have the season finale after that. Series finale, if you want to be honest. But guys, that is it for the Bad Batch Reaction Show. Uh, again, I love this episode. Can't wait for the next ones. But until then, make sure you do all the things, including subscribing and liking and, and leaving a comment. Let me know how you felt about this episode and how you think. Let's do this. How you think the next few episodes are going to go. We only got a couple more. So that's it for the the bad batch series like i said oh my gosh it's incredible i can't wait uh to see how it's gonna wrap up and just finish out this show it's been so good but you know we'll talk more about that as the show actually wraps up not only let me know how you think this show is gonna wrap up but let me know what you think the next animated show is gonna be that could be a fun discussion um until then like i said do all the liking and commenting and all that but also make sure to check out our regular channel subscribe so until the next episode until the next week i will see you later